Semini is caused with manipulating young girls. Lydia, ex-girlfriend, calls actor out. Lydia, ex-girlfriend of Nollywood actor Timini Egbonson, calls him out to manipulating and sleeping with much younger ladies. Lydia, who is age 21, called out the 30 years old actor Timini in a lengthy post on her Twitter page. She wrote, As much as we want to believe that it is okay for a girl boy to get romantically sexually involved with someone in their 30s or significantly older, as long as they are legal, 18 upwards, it really isn't, I would tell you from personal experience, it is absolutely not okay. It is unlikely chance you end up like Beyonce and Jay-Z. Congrats. However, we, what is most likely going to happen is you will leave that relationship emotionally scarred. Older people have more experience in these things, no matter how smart or grown you think you are. They've done this before is what I've learned. They have the answers. They will gaslight, manipulate, frustrate and traumatize you. They don't need it, please. Protect yourself. Timni Egbosan, you are a predator, you are a cradle snatcher, you are a pervert and an all-round terrible person. Meeting this man, I had no clue of his sexual past or who he had been involved with. I didn't know anyone from his social circle, and now I know that he's also intentional. When he told me he would make an exception for me despite how young I was, and I was like 19, I actually believed that and thought, wow, he must really like me. To anyone that is in a similar situation with any man, LMAO, girl, you are not special. He doesn't like you. You just fit the standard. You didn't meet him coincidentally. He went after you. He is a predator. Don't let them steal your peace, youth, because they will frustrate you. I was completely new to the dating scene in Lagos. Had no understanding Nigerian men or knew anything about Tamini and his sexual past. I was told things and believed them. They are scaring things and happened in the relationship that I will not even get into because that is not the point. Leaving you and now saying that you have a pattern of going for much younger babes is the problem. It is so frightening to witness it. It's really not in my place to call any of these girls' names, but we know. Your friends know. The streets know. This is what all the other girls were speaking about that year. It was so easy to see them as bitter, and that was what many people called them. And will probably call me, but I know call, send your papa. So many girls romanticize my whole situation and need to know that there is a reason. Much older guys go for much younger babes, and they did not meet you by coincidence. I am more exposed now, and see the way older men out there are ruining lives. Timini's family friends were so nice to me after meeting everyone. I didn't want to make things awkward or gain enemies from people in your industry, especially your fans. So I never publicly fought you, despite all the fucked up things you've done. But I don't send anybody again. You have used your influence to constantly pull me down. Since I left you, it is so funny to see how I defend someone they don't even personally know. And I'm well aware of the backlash I will receive, but I've personally had enough. You've tried so hard to tarnish the tiny reputation I managed to build for myself. The amount of our friends have come to tell me how you've been calling me a runs girl is stupid. Constantly spreading lies about me and trying to make me look bad. But the tear won't sit down one. It's me that is bitter. For whatever reason you are angry at me, that's not my business. But take the anger out on yourself. I never ever wanted any problems with you. Even when people were spreading the gist about you and much younger girls at first. I hit you up to question and advise you. I have emails and texts of me, me just begging him to speak to a professional. Because these things I was hearing weren't normal. Only for you to still be dragging my name in the mud. Still going out of your way to hurt me. Imagine me calling to me to confront him about these things and he exploded. As he usually does. This man called me a harlot. Told me no one could ever love me again and how I am a joke because I've slept to the O of Lagos. And I should go kill myself. Not the first time he's calling me names but I'm completely livid considering how I, am, I know about him now. Timini, you have, and I mean this so literally, slept with every breeding in Lagos and Abuja and you think for one second that you can slut shame me. It is the irony for me. But more seriously, it was another traumatic day. This was last week because how can you tell the person who you are aware of their suicidal past to go kill herself? Something I've been so open about. You are not a victim, Timini. You are a monster. I have held back from making these statements because I didn't want to look stupid. But I'm not embarrassed to say I have learned my lessons. When my past relationship became public and people had so much to say on the topic, I felt attacked and I didn't understand. Now I do. For all the girls that spoke up on Twitter with disgust, I now understand your anger. And to all these close female friends that see that barely legal girls brings around, shame onto you. I've heard too many people call me a cloud chaser and I say I benefited from the relationship cheating scandal is hilarious. Waking up to a million calls from family and be scared from my about my school suspending expelling me based on the controversy of the news is not fun. There's no amount of followers or clouds that can make up the panic attacks that came from the whole situation. The money I'm spending in therapy and all the trauma I'm facing to date. 
don't think many people will ever understand how hard even this is for me, but that's okay. This man is fully aware that he took advantage of my naiveness and is doing the same to other girls and has told me I can't do anything about all of this because he never thought I would actually speak up. LMAO, get me lit, motherfucker. This Agbaya told me he would do everything in his power to hurt me for moving on. He would sleep with all of my friends, ETC, LMAO, Psycho. Shout out to Mod, Jazz, and Busola Adijoro, the only ones that actually fell for his rubbish. Next time you're telling people why I blocked you, say the truth. Recall that Timini was also in a social media brawl sometime last year for sleeping with two friends who later came out on social media to drag themselves. For more of this entertainment news, please log on to our website at www.broadwaytv.tv and on Instagram at TheBroadwayTV. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, TheBroadwayTV.